Hi, welcome to my channel. In the last video, I showed how to use a potentiometer as characteristics of a variant resistance to vary the current in a series circuit so you can increase and decrease the brightness of an LED. And in that case, we only used two pins. We used any one of the outside pins here along with the center pin here giving us uh, a, a varying resistor and in this case it was a varying 10k ohm value so we could vary from 0 to 10,000 ohms now you can also use the potentiometer uh, in a circuit to vary a voltage so that you have a varying voltage available on this center pin so you have a voltage and uh, a source to ground on the outside pins here and the center pin is where you tap off of uh, to get a varying voltage and here again I have uh, 10 individual 1k resistors that I use to simulate the action of a 10k potentiometer and as you can see here if you think you can think of this jumper lead here as the center pin on this potentiometer so here I have my voltmeter attached to the lead that simulates the center lead of the potentiometer and if I have it attached directly to the 4.96 volts or roughly 5 volts supply here we have the maximum brightness on the LED and as we have voltage, individual voltage drops across each individual 1k resistor we have less voltage across the LED and it will be dimmer. So here we only have uh, 2.3 volts. Here we have 1.9 volts. 1 1.85 1.76 1.7 and there it's just barely noticeable we're approaching the minimum value needed to light an LED it's 1.5 and it's really it's not enough to even light the LED so we have to have a voltage greater than 1.5 to light the LED so here's the schematic representation of the 10 individual 1k resistors that I have simulating a potentiometer and in the last experiment where we varied the current in a series circuit we only used two of the leads on the potentiometer in this case we're using the three we have the five volts on one outside lead ground on the other outside lead and the center lead is where we tap off to get our varying voltage and if you think of this as one long piece of resistive material, sort of like if, you're, if you think of your uh, windshield uh, on a car as your resistive material and the windshield wiper, uh, this is also sometimes referred to as the wiper arm on a potentiometer, it wipes across this resistive material and it's able to tap off of uh, different voltage drops along the resistive material and as you get closer to ground you have uh, lower voltage and as you get closer to your supply voltage you have more of your supply voltage that will appear on this center arm or center contact on the potentiometer and here uh, similarly this is the schematic symbol for the potentiometer with your plus 5 volts and the ground connection and the a varying voltage available on this center pin. Now let's take a look at the schematic with a potentiometer connected to the LED. So with the potentiometer instead of the individual 1k resistors we have the 10k potentiometer and this center arm here wipes across this resistive material giving us a maximum of 5 volts or whatever our uh, maximum supply voltage is 
all the way down to zero or ground. And for an LED in particular, there is a certain minimum voltage that's required in order to even have it turn on. And once it turns on, uh, the current needs to be limited or it'll just uh, take off and you will burn out your LED. So we have a current limiting resistor in here of 220 ohms. And we can take a look at that physical circuit next. So here I'm measuring the voltage on the anode of the LED and you can see here we're at 4.95 volts and the LED is at its brightest level and as we vary the voltage on the anode the LED as we reduce the voltage it becomes dimmer until it's barely noticeable here we're at 1.7 volts and about 1.5 volts you really it's not really noticeable it's not it really isn't on and once we once the voltage is above about 1.5 volts it starts to light And that's due to an electrical characteristic of the LED. There is a minimum voltage that you need to be above in order for the LED to start conducting and light. Now here is a data sheet for a typical LED. And if we look in here on electrical characteristics, we can see here the current flow versus the voltage across the LED and you can see that it just starts to conduct after 1.5 volts and then as you increase the voltage from there the current through the LED really starts to take off and that's why you need that current limiting resistor so that's how you use a potentiometer to give you a varying voltage on the center arm. So if you found this video interesting or informative, please like and or subscribe. And thanks for watching.